Welcome back everyone to Piney Place Dinkum where we are here now for the breezy autumn update which is appropriate because we are in the first day of autumn now and it looks like we have some mail to start the new season. It's a gift from John. I don't really need this orange paper daisy pot. Uh, to be honest, I found it anyway. Well, alright. Orange paper daisy pot. And okay, well, we also have a bug tits for the summer. Well, it's no longer summer, so let's just get rid of that. And we may be seeing it again when summer comes around once again. It's Sunday, so John won't be open, but we have some tasks here. Alpha Croc and want to trade. I have a holiday hat I don't want anymore. I think I already got one of those, so let's not worry about that. Nothing special right here. We've got a Sky Fest in a week. And the bug catching competition on the 15th. Alright. I have no idea what the Sky Fest is, but I guess we'll be finding out. But what we need to do is to take care of our farming chores because it's a new season and that means we need to prepare new crops. And we have some crops here that are in need of harvesting and of course replanting. But we can't replant right away. We have to wait until we head over to Rain Shop and that won't open up for another three game hours. So do we have a... Oh, I have a scythe in hand. Alright, that's good. Apparently harvesting crops is one of my achievements for the day. Okay. And, oops. and finally done here. Good, but this is wheat. Now, I do have some seeds available, but these seeds are for potatoes, wrong season. Wheat, which could be useful if I don't find anything useful in Rain Shop or anything like that, or if I forget to visit Rain Shop, but I hope I don't do something as silly as that. Alright, that's all, that's still here, that's still here. Watermelon. I'll harvest that watermelon. Okay, good. All these came in right right in time. I'm probably not going to get anything else useful out of these, so I am just going to... deal with these right away. And this one. Okay, good. What I'll do is I will plant some... These are tomatoes. I can't remember what seasons the tomatoes go with. I'm going to have to check that. If I don't know which seasons they're for. Actually, what, what does the book say? What season goes with these crops? Mature in five days. Well, it's not going to last for five days, that's for sure. Unless, of course, tomatoes grow in the autumn also. But I don't think that they do. So. Do I have any high-quality milk in here? No, but I know where I can get some. No. Oh, yeah. And you, Pether? And... There you go. Now, we have something that we could place into our... cheese maker. Oh, there it is. I was wondering, where did it go? Hi, John. Cheesemaker. Now, what all do we need to do here? Well, I guess we can find out if John needs me to do anything for him. 
Well, got it. Hello there, Pinely. You need something? You got a job for me. Why don't you have five bottle tea on you? Oh, fine. That, that's a... That's an easy 20k. Now, let's see what we've got here. We've got... Crop Taker. Reap what you have sown. So we hit a thousand on that. How are we doing? Oh, still another hour. A little bit more, more than an hour. Help us in here. Mm, a few brews and the like. Okay. Oh, mushrooms. That's right. It's mushroom season. Now, how do you pick mushrooms? Or do you have to wait until they... Interesting question. How does one pick mushrooms? Milk cap? Well, I think I just found out. Field mushroom? Okay, we have three mushrooms here. Uh, oh, we... Hmm, or maybe. I guess they represent several of them, but we only get one? Not too sure if that's the best way in which to harvest mushrooms. I suppose we'll find out. We've got a, w a while for the month on here because I believe they only grow in the autumn. Oh. And it looks like our pleep has grown up. Uh, they apparently have changed the poos for four pleats, so then that they look dim. Oh. My inventory's full already. Ah. I guess I'm going to need to put some of this away, then I can cheer the pleat. Perhaps I should check on rain before shearing. Let's see what we got. We have cabbages, pumpkins. Well, I'll need three pumpkins. Pumpkin seeds. Right. 780 each, I'll get three of those. That'll replace those. I will get some sugar cane. Right. Okay, I am going to get... I prefer to get things in multiples of eight. Now, I think I actually have an uneven number of those, but first I may get everything organized before I worry about that. Cabbages? Oh yeah, I should get some cabbages. Alright. 700 each on those. Now, we'll be wanting to make plenty of these. Alright, good. That'll be enough on that. Good, I think that will take care of what we need there. Now, I did notice that there are no tomatoes there. So, perhaps that means tomatoes aren't growable. Now, I do know that corn is supposed to start growing in the autumn, so obviously she doesn't have everything available yet. Now, let's see. Let's, uh, let's start out with the pumpkins. Oh, we still have this here. I obviously don't want that in the way. Good, good, and I don't want this in the way. Good. Now, the tomato plants. To chop them or not? Tomatoes are summer and autumn, so we will leave them there. Alright. Now, I am going to need some room for some corn at some point. At least on a day when she has that available. Now, let's see. Let's get some cabbages in. guess we'll just fill up with cabbages. For the other areas. That's right. I need to feed the pleep. The thing about the pleep is the pleep is way far from the rest of the animals, so therefore it's not being automatically fed. So I do need to feed her, otherwise she will not be producing wool. So if I wake up one morning and 
she doesn't have a wool coat, it means that she hasn't eaten. Oops. There we go. Yeah, she's hungry. Uh, oh, I put the shears away. <laughs> now we can shear her. There we go. Now the other thing I need to do today is I want to finally get around to opening the last telly tower. I have a full in have a full list of every single thing I'll need in order to unlock that. So I will head over there right away. Or have a spear ready just in case anything hostile decides that a pine leaf stew is something that it would like to have. Uh, yeah, let's go there. That's the tricky thing. Remembering, alright, what is this world like now? Perhaps I should have checked for crocodiles before jumping in the water. I think I keep on saying that whenever I do anything ultra dangerous like that. But the idea here is to head up there. Well, I guess once I put that in, I could easily get back. Now I have to get back. Oh, no, no, I don't have to do that because I have all the ingredients I need in order to finish that thing up. How am I doing right now? Oh yeah, I am on the right track. Uh, is that going to be an ultra long swim if I did it from here? Perhaps that wasn't the best idea. Hmm. Oh. Well, probably depends on... Make sure there are no sharks in the area. Or crocs. I mean, crocs can be just as bad. Oh, that's right. I remembered why I wasn't so keen about this place. <laughs> well... At least now I know why I never finished it. Really? <laughs> this is... This is gonna be crazy. Oops. Uh, I am going to have to... You know, I had completely forgotten that A, it was right next to a wary mew. Oops-a-daisy. And th this wary mew is about to... Find out why you don't mess with me. Alright, now that... That should be a lot easier to work with now that I am... Oops. Alright, there we go. Now, I don't like the position of that nest. So what I'm going to do... I will take that for a moment. And I think these things respawn if you leave the nest there. So I will deal with that. Oh yes, I want to... Hmm, might be difficult to access if I still have this down here. So... Do this right. Okay, there we go. Up over here. Actually, maybe I should just... Put this right here. Come on. Do the right location. Okay, good. And now, can, can, can I open this now? Nope, I still need to... Hey, they really put this one in a challenging spot for me, didn't they? And I don't exactly make it easier on myself. Alright, there we go. That's... Put this one here. Now, can I 
open this now? Read! Good, missing parts. Play, yeah, let's, play, let's play some items in here. We've got... We need three boards. We want two batteries. I had absolutely nothing in here. Good thing I brought a full set. Alright. Okay, good. Now I have my final tower ready. Let's get back to camp. And now I have a full network <laughs> a full network of towers. Now unfortunately John won't be available to buy any new eggs at for today, but I could sell it to him tomorrow. Hi, John. Little thing for me to buy tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah here's John's shop right over here. Good. An egg and a bee. An alpha antler? Well... What can I do with an alpha antler? Actually, I think I've probably taken care of alphas already, haven't I? Alright, let's see. Where? Because I was thinking, okay, do I just do this here or just do I turn it into fertilizer? It's not like I have an overabundance of fertilizer or anything <laughs> like that, and. Uh, <laughs> one short on them all. Just wonderful. Well, fine. And also, what else do we got? We also need to craft three items. Is there anything I could really be w wanting to craft at the moment? Oh, oh, it's four fifty. Uh, let's see. I think she gets off at five. So, all right, we we'll have to worry about that tomorrow about licenses and all that fun stuff to see what's new in the update. But since tomorrow's Monday, many of the shops and like will be open, so that will all be available. Well, we can see what new life now cooking. New recipes! There used to only be 16, and now there are 28. So that's right. No, there actually, there used to be. Yeah, 16. And now there are 30. Right? Ah. Uh, yeah, there used to be 16. Yeah, 30. Alright, fine. There are 30 of them now, so with... So since we have uh, 30 items in there, we can go... Oh! Whee! They're coming in quite abundantly, aren't they? How many did we get from that? Instagrow! Instantly grows crops a bit. What? Really? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So apparently they changed uh, what you get when you put in alpha antlers and like. I think they used to produce <laughs> fertilizer. I think they said something about changing what they produced, and yeah. So apparently they have... Hmm, I think I could test this with. Oh, I got, I got an idea. Let's try some Instagrow on the... on the pumpkins. Alright. All right. Now, this is 
saw. Okay, they, they are already a little bit on the moist side. I'm in experimental mood. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, apparently they do a day's worth of growth or something like that, I, I presume, if you use it. That is definitely not what I was expecting. Alright, I guess that's the max I could go. Alright, so I guess with pumpkins, once you get to the state where you start producing stuff, it no long or start sending out your shoots, it no longer is going to be growing anymore. Now, I do have to figure out what to do with the, with the mushrooms. Now, I guess I should check see what recipes use mushrooms, since we have all these mushroom dishes, so I've or I should say, mushrooms that are growing all over the place. What about kinds of dishes that use them? Egg fried, let's see, I think there's a, a mushroom risotto. Cooked rice. Well, I presume then first I need to get some, some field mushrooms. Okay, a mushroom soup. Four types of mushrooms. Field mushrooms, milk. Milk calf, slippery jack, and yellow morsel. So obviously, or more else. So we're going to have to find a good place to put these mushrooms because we've got. Because those are the animal products. The plant products are in here. Well, actually, what I'll do is we'll have. I guess I'll put the fungi with the animal items. So, let's see. Let's put the milk and the milk and cheese into the same row. Then I could put mushrooms into here. Right, yeah, okay, there, there's field mushrooms. So th so no recipe seem to be calling out for the Glowing mushrooms, but who knows? Maybe someday someone will decide that would be something to have. Parmy and chips. This bag bowl. No, that doesn't have anything useful. That hearty stew. I think that's something that's already always been there. I don't think a, a lot burger would have mushrooms in it, would it? No, it doesn't. So we'll have to have a look at that to see if there's anything here that we could make in there. But at some point, mushroom soup would be nice if we could collect enough mushrooms. And this is the autumn, so mushrooms are all over. Actually, what's the weather going to be like? Today's weather station forecast. It's going to be a bit warm tonight and hazy, but it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow. A little breezy, and this is the breezy autumn update, so... I presume that would be fitting. Now let's see if I can find mushrooms anywhere around here. Oh. There you go. Actually, I think I now have three. Oh, that's, that's all done now. Whee! So I can grab... Yeah, yeah. No, I want a a plat pie. Oh, oh. For some reason I was thinking it said flat pie. No, no, it's a plat pie, which I guess would be fitting for a pleep. Okay, now let's see. This is, if I remember correctly, this is done. That's done. All right, I have a two left. Maybe I should have counted how many I had and then tried on one of the others so I could do one on each. Oh well, anyway, I think the pumpkins are the most important ones to have done it with anyway because that means we don't have to worry about all that growth time that we otherwise would have to go through. Now, one of my plans I have is to move the pleat from there to... I guess we'll have to move it around here. I 
That way it should be a nice and in range. I may have to move this a little. Or actually, maybe I can move the pleep over here and move the bandstand over here. Yes, and that means moving the bandstand and all that that entails. And I did start flattening out this area here. I think just a little bit more needs to be done. And I think it'll be suitable for being the perfect area in there. And someday I'll have to go back to that teleport station and make that a saner place. But I think with that nest gone, it's, I'm not going to have to worry about being attacked by where he moves as things go along. But I think I've got everything I need done here. So I think that's a good progress for the first day. I've got crops that are starting in over here. We did some experimentation with an alpha antler with the instant grow in there. Now I know what that does. Oh, I am going to have to water that. I'm forgetting that the tomatoes over here are not receiving water. So they will need to be regularly watered. This seems to be in range. That's in range. That's in Everything else is in range. Alright, and I think that's all here. Oh, this does not have any... It's remembering... That, okay, those are tomatoes. Where am I going to plant corn? I think this is going to be the best place to plant corn, but that means getting another sprinkler. How am I doing my copper supply? Uh, I ain't going at the... I'm also going to be needing a spinning wheel, aren't I? I've got two two bundles of wool here. Let's see. Uh, that. No, not that. Not that. Wool, 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 wool. Is that in here? Spinning wheel. Surely I know a recipe for doing spinning. Actually, let's see what I need here. I need five copper actually maybe that's the more important one to keep around at the moment eventually I am going to be needing be needing a spinning wheel uh, probably need a wheel <laughs> I mean that sounds like a ingredient that they will be requiring for it plus some I don't know the recipe that means uh, I've never learned the next level of animal hunt no, because I thought you learned that when you learned to learn for a pleep, right? Farming stuff? Well, I have to worry about that some other time. Okay, good. Ah, remembering how things are in this world. That's going to be one of the tougher things. But I think that is it for tonight. And tomorrow, I want to see if I could... ask for Fletch's help to move this thing so that I will be able to get it to a nice new location and thus be able to move the pleep. But that'll be in our next episode of Piney Plays Dinkum. Ooh. Do I have anything? Hunting, minimal. Foraging, minimal. Farming. A bit on there. I notice it only gives you a 1x for the Instagrow. I guess maybe one alpha antler just only gets you one, not the number of times you actually receive. Well, good night.